All right, guys, so what we're looking at here is an example from the 2014 exam that deals with polar functions. Now, most of this is not, the, as we look at it, remember, the one thing that we struggle with with polar equations is they're graphed so much differently than every other type of function. So we've got these two graphs right here. We've got the graph of r equals 3. Now, what that means is the entire time as we measure from the origin, the radius is 3. So this right here is our r equals 3. And then the other one is r equals 3 minus 2 sine of 2 theta. So that starts over here and then goes up and around like that. And they're shown in the figure above. We've got these two functions. Letter A wants us to find the shaded region r. Now what we have to realize on the shaded region r that makes it, it's, it's hard to understand at first, but what we really have here, if you think about it, is we have just a quarter circle right there that we can find the area of real quick. So it's just going to be 1 fourth times pi times the radius squared, which the radius in this case is 3 of that quarter circle. So that part's taken care of. I found that r real fast. The other part that we need to find is this area right in here. And the way that we find that area is we say, okay, we're starting at 0 and we're going up to pi halves because that's the angle that we're using. So I go, the formula is 0 to whatever that angle is, 90 degrees or pi halves, times 1 half multiplied by the function 3 minus 2 sine of 2 theta. Now we have our, and that, that whole thing is squared. And that's just how we find the area that exists between a polar graph and the origin on a given interval. When we put that into our calculator, we get 9.708. So that is your answer for letter A. Now letter B says, okay, I've got this curve and I want to find dx d theta. Well, in order to do that, we have to remember that x is equal to r times theta and our, our r in this case is 3 minus 2 sine of 2 theta. So we've got that multiplied by theta. Now I want to take the derivative of that and plug in pi over 6. We have our calculators to do that. So when I find dx d theta at that particular point, I don't, again, I don't need to actually take the derivative of this because I have my calculator. I get negative 2.366. That's your answer for letter B. On letter C, we've got the distance between the two curves from 0 to pi halves is changing. So we're just talking about over in the first quadrant here. It wants to find the rate at which the distance between the two curves is changing when theta equals pi thirds. Well, when we're talking about the rate at which something is changing, what we're looking for is the derivative for the distance between the two. The way that we find the distance between any two things is we just subtract those two things. So this right here, that's not my r, excuse me, that's my distance between the two. That is my, that's how I would find the distance between those two. And then what I would do is I would just take the derivative and plug in pi thirds. And when I do that, in this case, I just get negative 2 as my answer for the distance. That is the, the rate at which the distance between the two is changing. So that would be like almost like we call it dr, d, d for the distance divided by d theta. Either way, that's what we're looking for in that problem. And that is our answer to letter C. Now letter D wants us to, we've got this same 3 minus 2 sine of 2 theta, so it's just that other, this first function that we're talking about right there. It tells us that d theta dt is equal to 3 for all times. Now if I were to take the derivative of r, so what's it, you'll notice what it wants is dr dt. If I were to take the derivative of r here, what I would get is dr d theta. So if I were to take the derivative and plug in pi 6, that would give me dr d theta, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for dr dt. But I also know that d theta dt right there is 3 at all times. And so the d thetas in this case would cancel out, and I'd be left with dr dt. So all I have to do really is find dr d theta and plug in pi over 6. And when I do that, I actually get negative 2. And d theta dt, and I just used my calculator. I just took the derivative and plugged in pi over 6. And then d theta dt is always 3, so negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. That's your correct answer for letter D. This one, other than the first problem, I didn't think was too bad just because you didn't, other than the first letter A, you really didn't need an awful lot of trig to answer these questions. So hopefully that made sense on how to do those. If you have any questions, please let me know.